Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this video with the latest firmware update, Tesla has announced the red light alert. So that gives me more confidence of using autopilot in local street and we'll see how it does. And this time I'll do it without any disengagement through multiple intersections and see if it actually will continue, especially with the center divider and oncoming traffic. Especially during intersection where there's no lane marking, which is very typical. So we'll see how autopilot does. Previously, before any firmware update that recognize traffic light, um, autopilot does freak out sometimes and alert you telling you to take over when it does not detect the lane markings anymore. So we're at the first intersection here and we'll see how it does. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, there's no lane marking here. And it went through just fine. On the display, you probably can't see it, but it still show that it detects the lane marking. So it is reading well above the car in front of me. And as you continue on local street, there's a lot of openings for left-hand turns. So even with that, it still maintained the lane, the center lane uh, towards the right there, as you can see, even with the breaking of the lane on the left hand side. So as we continue, uh, there's this big motorhome um, on the right of me. It does detect that and is keeping us distant. So I feel a lot more confident using autopilot in local street now. It goes through those intersections very smoothly, no hesitation, no panic braking, no audio alert freaking out that it's not knowing what it's doing. So again, here's another intersection and it went through that just fine. You might say that, okay, it's easy going straight, but once we hit um, the fourth traffic light, there is a curve that does start at the end of the intersection and it actually will recognize that as well. So as we pass this motorhome here and all those oncoming vehicle making a left turn, it does not freak out like it used to, thinking that that's a vehicle um, completely in, in, in a lane that is stopped. So it's smoothly accelerating, uh, no panic braking or anything like that. So uh, even past this slight hill here, it will definitely uh, be able to handle that really well. So as we come up to this uh, next traffic light, uh, we'll go over underpass, but um, the light turned red. So it's gonna stop again. It won't stop if there's no vehicle in front of you. Uh, however, the system does recognize red traffic light now. So that's the start and it will alert you if you attempt to run that. So the next traffic light is where that uh, curve will start once you pass in uh, intersection. And that's really the, the biggest test of this uh, firmware update. See how much improvement Tesla has done with their autopilot system. Again, there's been no disengagement and I've been solely trusting the system uh, to be able to navigate me across town in the local city. So here we go. Again, the acceleration is very smooth now. It's not jerky like it used to be. Um, and it just continues to get better and better. And as we pass this underpass, um, it's a traffic light here. So past this traffic light is where that curve in the section start. And it starts right here. Even with those no lane marking, it's going to be able to turn and bank left a little bit there. And people always hit that, that traffic um, overhead lamp um, because it's very close, but you can't really see it from this fisheye angle. So, so far, so good. Uh, it handles everything really well, especially in local streets. So I think by end of this year, um, autopilot full self-driving will be, be ready, at least be more ready than it ever been before. So thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. If you are interested in the Model S 
X or a three. Uh, make sure to use a referral code. If you don't have one, we have one in the description of this video. It will help the channel out a lot. You will actually get an equal opportunity as us to win a Roadster 2.0 or a Model Y. So make sure you use a referral code. Despite who you use uh, that referral code, just make sure you use it because Tesla or Cell Associate won't advertise it to you. And also you will get free unlimited supercharging up to a thousand miles if you do use the referral code. Code. See you guys next time and remember to subscribe.